So we are out here in Anacostia. Um, this is the site of the sixth annual Black President's Day celebration that will happen October 15th um, in the evening, 8 p.m. until they throw us out. Very, very excited. Uh, the opportunity to do it in Anacostia is absolutely apropos, I think, and I'm excited to be able to do it with WEAC Radio considering the nature of that station and the fact that they're just going to be getting started as we come in and do this event. I'm honored that um, Lil So So Productions have chosen this location for the next Black President's Day in honor of Fela Kuti and his um, revolutionary fervor. It's important that this happens here for us and our agenda and launching this program, launching this platform, because we kind of feel like this is like the fitting libation to bless the space, to bring in the spirits and the ancestors, and also to draw a line in the dirt and say to the world, this is what we're about. And this is what we're, um, uh, we're going with this, in terms of music, in terms of politics, in terms of the content and the political stances of um, Fela Kuti's uh, legacy, these are things that we stand on. And in continuation of that, how else could we um, um, pay honor to it and acknowledge it other than fittingly honor him by bringing that energy into this space. Fela means a lot to a lot of people, but to me in particular, he is a remembrance of what it means to be free, what it means to understand who you are, and to be unafraid to represent that. So I'm excited in that way to bring this event to another level, um, to bring it to a whole other part of D.C. There's a tendency to hang out on Northwest, so for us to come to Southeast, I think, sends a really particularly poignant message right now that, you know, D.C. as a whole, we need to embrace all of it. So I'm embracing Anacostia with this event, and I'm hoping that Anacostia will embrace us. Why Fela? Uh, the better question would be why it took so long for Fela to come to uh, prominence. The answer is because people just didn't know. And now that people know due to, I think it was just time. It was time for things to become known the same way people rediscovered Bob Marley in uh, the 90s, about 10 years after his death. People have rediscovered Fela, you know, 20 years after his death, almost 20 years after his death. And we do it because we love what Fela represented. You know, he represented the spirit of, of two things. He had, there were two creative forces behind Fela. There were two forces propelling him. The spirit of creativity and the spirit of black self-awareness, which is a big deal in uh, not only post-colonial Africa, which is what created him, but in the African-American experience and in the spirit of creativity, because once you hear his music, you know, combined with the political message of his music, it just, it's more powerful than anyone could have could have put their finger on when he was actually doing it because it's still significant to this day in the quote unquote post racial world of Obama and uh, dancing with the stars. I think as a person who is of African descent born in America, I think it's really important to, to make the connection, mm -hmm. to also to, to learn the history and to see the parallels right. because we don't live in a vacuum. So I was born in the 70s and all these things were going on in Nigeria, in other parts of Western Africa, in Europe with African peoples. And to really have an awareness of it just makes me, gives me a deeper respect for the connections of black folks through the diaspora. And he was such a symbol of freedom, of liberation, of self-empowerment, um, and really of just being sick and tired of being, being sick, sick and, and tired, tired, like Fannie Lou Hamer said. <laughs> and so I think that he's so iconic, mm -hmm. and he's, so, um, he's such a figure that needs to be highlighted and needs to be celebrated just like we celebrate a lot of other people every year. One of the key components, of course, for those who've been before is that you have the music. So the DJs will be back in full effect. We are going to have live music. There will be food. And as always, the pageantry of the ladies will be there. The, uh, the famous um, women of, of the fella entourage, you know, as represented with the faces and the jewelry and the clothing, that's all going to be part of it as usual. And I think we forget that these women are very much a part of how Fela is able to do everything that he does. Fela without the women just isn't Fela. And I think that the the aesthetic quality that the women bring to the to the to his presentation and the strength that they bring to the presentation is often sort of overshadowed by the the weed smoking and the walking around and the underpants and the 
and just the the bravado that is is fella i mean the machismo that is fella is so big that i guess one would need that many women around you to to sort of balance that out i don't know but the felt the women are important to me um that's why we that's why we honor them and the way that we present them um, every year. So on Saturday, October 15th, we will be in Anacostia hosting the sixth annual Black President's Day. We're hoping that you will all join us, support us, come join, join <laughs> come down and see what it's all about. Um, LilSoso.com for more information. And yeah, let's let's show the world, let's show Anacostia that, you know, Fela is just one of many, but an important cultural icon and someone that we should always revere and remember.